let me take you through. This is a vision we crafted a few years back and we continue to hold on to that. So be the most innovative investment group in South Pacific. Why we say it is most innovative? Some of my numbers will show you how successful we are. And we will continue to be successful and innovative in the whole Pacific. So that is our mission. And if you look at our mission, we got a very clear vision, mission for the company. One is to look after you. Create a sustainable and consistent value for our shareholders. That is one of our primary duty. If I can't do that as a CEO, I should step down. So we'll, we'll assure you, as much as possible, we'll improve the shareholder value. Number two, promote the growth and development of our people. It includes our staff. We have been continuing to do it. At least three, two of my GMs are already gone to Harvard Business School. So we continue to do that. The senior junior managers are going to different universities and we are giving them on the job training, difficult situation, we are pushing them and they are learning to swim. <coughs> and of course, maintain the highest integrity in whatever things that we do. We always insist and we always stand in what we believe. And we live where we are. Wherever we are, in the areas of what we have chosen, we lead. That is definitely part of our mission. The board of directors, you heard my chairman, Mr. Naive. He has been a chairman from 2011. Of course, he has been a board director from 2008. We recently appointed a deputy chairman, Commander Liam Inokoto. Unfortunately, he is not here. He is the commander of Royal PG Military Force. He is away as of right now. We also got another six directors, totally eight. Most of them are here today. Colonel Raibode, Mr. Uleyar Sitaoi, Mr. Digamalun, and Mr. Tuitubu, he is the chairman of Budget Finance, and also Mr. Osunami, chairman of Nandaka Provincial Council, and Mr. John O'Connor, he is the CEO for National Fire Authority. So we got a great, a fantastic team who can set direction for Fijian Holdings. That's your function. Fijian Holdings grew at a glance. We are a big group, a large. Our total assets as of 30th June is 459 Fiji dollars, millions. If you look at our borrowings, it's 206 million, but you don't need to worry. All these 206 are not from banks, because we also got a merchant finance, which takes deposit from public. That public deposit also considered as borrowing. So it is almost 100 million. So our bank borrowing is around another 100 million. The group property plant and equipment is around 127 million. More importantly, shareholders fund is one extremely important thing. It is 204 million. This company was started in 84 with 3 million. Just 1 million, sorry, 1 million. There's another 20 million came in later, and another 3 million came later. So by 1993, this company got 24 million. That 24 million has become 204 million by 30th June 2015. Apart from paying 91 million as dividends. So it's a tremendous growth, which we can be proud of. As we speak, right now, we are in 42 locations in Fiji. And in overseas, we got in PNG three locations. And we have some experience or some business in Samoa, Vanuatu, and Solomon, but we don't have an office as such there. Total staff, as last month, it is 1,630. We are really proud of. 